Frankie is like a regular 12-year-old kid. He goes to Harding Middle School. He likes playing baseball and basketball, and he plays the trumpet, um, and he enjoys doing speed cubing. Three, two, one, go. Frankie has only been speed cubing since the end of last school year and is a member of the World Cube Association. It takes him just 15 seconds to solve the puzzle. He's just like really smart and I love him. I got him one and he just started tinkering with it and then he just started timing himself and he realized that he was pretty good. Pretty good may be an understatement. 10.74. I just wanted to learn how to do it. I never knew that it would get like this. Because just a few months after getting the cube, Frankie became a national qualifier, getting his times for certain cubes down to nearly 10 seconds. And it doesn't run in the family. Have you ever been able to solve a Rubik's Cube yourself? I don't think I've ever solved a Rubik's Cube ever in my life. If he kind of tells me the right moves to do, then I can solve it. So Frankie shares his passion with his family and his friends as he prepares to timely click and twist his way through nationals. People see like a Rubik's Cube like, oh my gosh, it's, it's not that hard to learn really. It's not an impossible task because that's what people see it as. Maybe not impossible, but definitely difficult considering if you turned a Rubik's Cube once every second, it would take you 14 trillion years to go through every configuration, but he does it like it's nothing. He was always in his room working on it and sometimes I would visit him because I just think it's so like fascinating that he can do that. Practice makes perfect and when you like doing something it's not really practice it's more like fun.